signs of life ahead. Join in too? This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye, only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Pleased to meet you, Daniel. So, what can a poor farmer do for a man like you? So, Daniel. What's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. McCraith, but I'm behind on me chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Vanish you. You made it. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Hmm. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thickskin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. 
Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right. Got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. Can I ask you, what do you know about the Nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A Nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams... Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. This requires a key. Slept in was. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go.
Yeah. No, we won't freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. I'd be glad to help, but after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco and wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the eucopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. Red McCraith, sir. Your friendly visiting manager. The civility of your tongue belies your appearance and comes most welcome. There's not much of it around here. Squire Sincere Paris, sir. Your friend and servant. In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Wherever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad, but as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you. You carry them on your back. With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travelers as porters. You paid people to carry your goods? Uh, my fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry them. Well, oh. I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for... this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. Show me your wares. 
You'll find what you need, I'm sure. I bid you a good day. Yes, sir. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Startled. Oh well, ain't you a sight? Who are you then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly, Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. Year round. Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. To the point. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making. Could he have gone out and sir? Doubtful. He just. It wasn't. A... I sh He's no woodsman. Can I have a. Yes. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. from the past are still here. Imarada sentus.
That's no ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. No blacksmith and no tools. Could he have taken them with him? These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? Look to me. Talking all the fun.
You'll get it next time. you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done, I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like, then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Uh, lots of building work to be done. That means nails, a whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and... that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them. As deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? Sure. Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... Thank you.
The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. I summon you now! Present yourself! Attention! Spirit and flesh, I summon you!
You're within gun range. Call on me. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. Silence and the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. This one does. Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us.
Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse. Did you feel that? It's close. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross.
I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's check out the trap. Watch out, expect your position. by. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? We should talk to his ghost. Show yourself and join me now.
We are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Aaron. Oh. Watch it. Brad, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life, and she stole mine! She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. You're the bastard. But murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety.
think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? Hush. Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back. Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? It's time. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Fortune Heaton, dead as alive, you failed as a husband. Quick to anger, your cruel brutality left your wife in despair. You treat her as a possession. They stole my name and took my life. Tough. But now you leave Nelly alone. She's not yours and never was. My corpse rots in the cold abyss. My skin crawls with worms as the creatures of the deep consume me. That sounds unpleasant, but it will soon be over. I'm giving you the peaceful way out. Count yourself lucky. Go in peace.
Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. Thank you. 